Let's see what's on the good old boob tube. The fuck is it? Balls, 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 balls. So after single-handedly taking down the Jersey Juice Gang, I figured it was time to move on to some fresh, new fake nattiness. Uzoma Obolor looks like a fucking cloud in the off-season, and then gets down to insane body fat percentages and holds on to all of his muscle. He can also do alien gains, which is where he just has like this weird genetic disorder where putting tension on a muscle causes it to spasm and make that effect. He's your run-of-the-mill fitness vlogger just documenting his journey, but... That doesn't mean that he's completely off the hook. So a few things to note about Uzom Obalor. In the past, he was sponsored by Jed North, which is an extremely juicy, juicy sponsorship. And now he's sponsored by Gymshark, which we also know is a juicy sponsorship. At first, I believe he was competing in the physique shows. Now he's competing in classic physique because he got a lot more size on him. He has some old posts with him and other fake natties like Simeon Panda. Right here, he's with John Skywalker, who blatantly just says that he's on steroids. A lot of you guys are like, do Simeon Panda. That's the easiest video to make. So there's one video I'm going to look at in particular and then maybe a few other videos, but this video really caught my attention. Is Uzoma Obolor really a natural bodybuilder? Why is it that the second most popular video on your channel is about you defending your natural status? Let me introduce you guys to the three golden rules of being a fake natty. Number one, if you're making a living off of your physique, you're probably on steroids. If you have to tell everyone how natural you are, you're probably on steroids. And number three, if you claim to work harder than everyone else, you don't, so you're probably on steroids. But I work real hard. I think I don't want to brag about it. Looking like this, all natural, 5'5"? Five, five? Yeah. Naturally? Yeah. Naturally. Yes. No! You see YouTube, that's just some of the stuff that I hear on the daily from freaking haters, the people behind the computer screen. There's two computer screens. The people just, I don't even know, you know. Bored college student? Who the hell are these people? I'm Philly on Fit, douchebag police. Nice to meet you. I gotta tell you guys that I am natural. Well, I mean, there you go, folks. He said it. He must be telling the truth, right? You, know, you go on social media and you see these people with these savage-ass physiques. You're talking about yourself. I quit my job for this shit, guys. I dropped out of school for this shit. I dedicate my life to the games, you know what I'm saying? And I work real hard. I got a different work ethic. I get different games. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna do that shit for the gains. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I went and worked hard. I started doing my cardio with no hands. Did you hear that, guys? Take your hands off the cardio machine and you'll look like Uzoma Obolor. You're supposed to do cardio with no hands. You're fucking running. <laughs> I didn't think I could go pro. I just kept doing it. I just kept going to the gym, kept it as a hobby, kept doing That's not how that happens. If you've been paying attention to the past minute, you would have realized that he clearly stated that he dropped out of school, quit his job, and dedicated his whole entire life for the gains. I, used, I remember when I got like fifth place, and I was like, the only reason those other guys beat me is because they take something and they're older than me. This shit is so fucking dumb. You're an IFBB pro. You think that you can step on stage and compete against these guys without using gear. There's no such thing as natural bodybuilding. Ha! <laughs> I bet I just stepped on a lot of toes. Oh, what do you mean, Phil? I'm a natural bodybuilder. <laughs> just stop. Everyone relax. Just because it's drug tested does not mean that it's drug free. Obviously, people are going to take whatever competitive edge that they can get at any moment if they want to win that bet. You know, I put in a bunch of extra work. I understand that you have a following of presumably young teenagers that just got into lifting and that natural bodybuilder in your bio really just gives them hope. When winning shows and getting popular on social media means getting money and eating, you don't want to take chances because your life literally depends on it. Why, why is this a thing? Whenever we talk about bodybuilders, powerlifters, it's hard work, bro. <laughs> Suck my balls. Do yourself a favor and take that childish shit out of your bio. Just be a chill dude that doesn't try to deceive people. There's way too many fake naturals in the industry already. He goes from looking like he's gonna take my lunch money to stealing my girlfriend in a matter of weeks. You don't just become Optimus Prime in 12 weeks. I mean, Jesus Christ, he looks like the fucking Terminator. <laughs> Uzoma's oversimplification of what it takes to be a professional bodybuilder is him trying to convince his uninformed and impressionable audience that they can achieve the same thing with hard work. He's putting the idea of gaining muscle and becoming an IFBB pro in the same category. But I work real hard. Watch how I lift. I lift real slow. Don't worry though, guys. If you keep working hard in the gym and lifting really slowly, you will get there. 
So Uzoma is one of the select few that defies the laws of physiology. I mean, when he loses fat, he also gains muscle and just gets bigger. A lot of you guys may say like, oh no, he's just cutting. No, he's literally getting bigger. His muscles grow in size when he's at a lower body weight. So you guys know about noob gains, right? Well, I've been doing some research and I found out that there's this actual thing called advanced lifter gains. It happens after about five to six years of training. You suddenly explode in size and strength again. I mean, I think David Laid and Ryan Casey just went through that. I mean, I'm currently working on it though. A few more cycles in my athlete program and I'll get there. I'm looking at a 900 pound deadlift in about two weeks. It's kind of an insult to my intelligence when you put natural bodybuilder in your title because I know how fucking bullshit it is. You see this third eye of truth? That sees right through all your bullshit. Kind of gives me a tingling sensation if you know what I mean. I don't care how slow you lift, how long you've been lifting, your results are not attainable naturally. Unless you mean your body naturally produces steroids. If you really are an alien and you have alien gains, then you just got fucking abducted, my guy.